Hi everyone, Janie here, and last week in Craft Room Helpers, I showed you how to color with Inktense watercolor pencils. And I had been really torn about whether to show you that or to show you how to color with chalk. But I decided that this week I'm going to show you how to color with chalk because it's one of my favorite ways to color. But if you missed last week's Craft Room Helpers and you want to see the Inktense watercolor pencils, I have a link below in the description box. But right now, let's head on over to the craft table and let me show you how to color with chalk. Last week, I colored this image, which is by Sheepski Designs, and I used Inktense watercolor pencils. And as you can see, it's very vivid. And I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison. So, look at that. Identical cards. Only this one, I used chalk. And I wanted you to see how soft it is and to be able to see the comparison between the two. So this is the chalk that I like to use. It is by Pebbles and it is pearlescent chalks. And there are 30 jeweled toned shades in here. So this is what it looks like. There are 15 different colors and two shades of each color. And each one comes with three different size little cotton swabs that you use with this tool for coloring. So you just pick up what you're going to use and that holds it for you. And then you can get the color you want and you can color. I'm going to start by coloring the flower. And so with my little swab on there, I'm going to go pick up some of the color and I can tap it off on a paper to make sure I don't have too much on there. And we're just going to color the flower and it goes very quickly. Unlike other coloring mediums that could take a longer time. And so now that I've done that, I want to come in with a little bit darker color for the center. So I'm going to grab some of this darker shade up at the top. And I'm just going to make little outward motions. Just to give it a little depth in there. Okay, maybe a little bit more, right over there. And so that's what we have so far. And I'm going to do the same thing with this flower here. But to speed things up, I'm going to finish that flower off camera. Okay, now that the flower is done, I'm going to move on to the leaf. And I'm actually going to use the smaller one, the little one for the leaf. And get a little color on there. This is really easy and you don't even have to go all the way to the edges. It's almost, well, almost a watercolor look, but not really. Grab a little dark on there. Try to give it a little shading here. I mean, I'm not a perfectionist when it comes to coloring with chalk. I actually kind of like the imperfect looks. But I just absolutely love the ease of it and the soft color. I really do like the soft color a lot. So that's what we have so far. Now doing the B is a little bit more challenging because of some of the small details. In fact, I'm going to have to come in with a colored pencil to do things like the antennas and the little parts of the leg right there. But I'm going to get some black on here. And we will color. Yeah, 
it is harder to get into some of the um, smaller spots even with the little the little applicator here but that's okay I probably should have chosen a different image but I wanted to use the same image that I had used last week just because I wanted to also show a comparison of the difference between chalk and something like ink tense watercolor pencils. Okay. Well, I was off camera. I went in and took care of some of the finer details of the black. And I think my little applicator here has seen better days for my little one here. But I'm going to keep using it. I wonder if there's a way to get, you know, more of these when they wear out. Or maybe I'll have to find a way to make my own. That's always a good idea, too. Okay. Almost done here. I've got it finished up and I added a little shimmer brush to the wings. I don't know if you can see the sparkle on there or not. But that's how easy it is to color with chalk. And I really like the soft look and how quickly it goes. And let me show you a couple of other pictures that I've done with chalk. So this is my Bible journaling book. And here we go. That was done completely with chalk, and it came out absolutely beautiful. Even the, the light shining out of the lighthouse, and I especially like the way that the sand and the ocean turned out. And here's another one that was done completely with chalk. Some things are easier than others, so chalk isn't for everything, but I think if you give it a try, you are going to fall in love with it. Thank you all for watching today, and I hope you liked my demonstration of coloring with chalk. And if you haven't tried it before, I hope you do. Happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.